everyone and welcome back to my channel True Crime and Trials where I discuss true crime and trials. My name's Lindsay and I've got one tiny quick witness from the Bob Durst trial um, and he is Alfred Cleethan. Um, in the year 2000 he was working at Christie's Auction House in Beverly Hills um, and he went to the laundromat and he met Susan there. Um, they just struck up a conversation and became friends. Alfred was a writer too, so they just quickly bonded over that. He only knew her for a few months before she died and he says she was just a great person. And you can tell by the way he speaks about her, he absolutely adored her. He just enjoyed being around her. She would ra read a lot of the stuff he wrote, which he says a lot of people wouldn't do. And they would talk a lot on the phone. And when she needed something, he would try and be there for her. When asked to describe Susan's personality, he says she was very optimistic in a cynical way. And she had a really good sense of humour. She was always focused on writing and being creative. She was a really, really sweet person. Along with her good qualities, as we all know, Susan had her bad ones and Alfred says that she was terrified of eggs. Now, that's a new one. Uh, don't know why, um, but this is another one. And she had phobias and was terrified of stairs and elevators. Um, now, on to Susan's security at her home. He, you know, he confirms what the last witness said Richard about you know him having to call ahead having to knock on the door say who he was um he says she was very protective and secure secretive um and she would lock the door behind him um so when he's asked if Susan would open the door to just anyone especially one that's unannounced his answer is no never and of course Susan told him all about Bob um, he says Susan spoke highly of Bob. She loved him and would always talk about him. She told him that Bob was supposed to come to town around Christmas and take everyone out to dinner and to party. So this is why I found it odd, you know, that she's told practically, she told practically everyone near the time um, that she was speaking to that Bob was coming over, whereas she didn't tell Richard and he was the last one to speak to her. So I find that really odd. I don't know. It's just really sticking to me why she didn't say anything about it. Because she could not, literally could not stop, stop talking about Bob. And I know she was really pissed off with him. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, so the cross-examination. So when Susan told him about Bob coming for the holiday, she was excited about it. Um, she wasn't afraid about him coming to visit and she didn't tell Alfred anything about her and Bob arguing or fighting um, but again that connect that connects to the one thing that's really bugging me as to why she didn't tell Richard so was she scared I don't know don't know it's gonna bug bug me really is so they did start another witness um Altman I can't remember her first name, um, but there's two of the, her and her husband. Um, they are close friends with Bob. And before, I mean, I didn't start her, but I heard a clip and apparently her testimony is just short of seven hours long. So I think they did a bit last night. Um, obviously, they're not in today, so I'm presuming it'll be all day Monday. Um, so you've got that to look forward to guys <laughs> sure you can't wait so that's me done after today for the weekend i'll be back with more bob durst on tuesday so until then have a great weekend i will see you on tuesday bye for now